Space Living with CTM takes us on a tour of eight different spaces with eight talented designers. We take a look at some of the beautiful interiors they've designed and how they go about putting their creative touch to small spaces. Our bedroom is the first place we see when we open our eyes and our retreat at the end of a long day. Paying attention to every detail ensures a space that speaks to the senses. Marilee Muller of Head Interiors shares her take on the ideal bedroom. A bedroom needs to be a space where you feel at home, where you feel relaxed. The fabrics need to be soft, it needs to be inviting. It needs to be a space where you can really be yourself and just switch off from the craziness of, of your day-to-day -day life. The brief from the client was for the space to be able to appeal to a, a niche market, a specific market, as this is a show apartment and it doesn't yet belong to a specific client. It had to be upmarket, it had to be classy, but it had to be serene and luxurious at the same time. For the specific bedroom, we didn't only get to do the sleeping portion of the room, but because the room is so large, we were able to introduce a whole pajama lounge into the space as well. We went for a lounge that could accommodate mom and dad and then two children as well. So we have two single-seater couches and then two extra chairs um, so somebody can enjoy a cup of coffee while somebody else is still in bed in the morning. That was the concept behind it. There's a lot of glass all around us because we're very high up in the air. So we wanted to warm the space by using a carpet, a very soft and luxurious carpet on the floor. And then also we introduced a feature wallpaper behind the headboard um, just to give an extra layer of texturing just to really soften all the glass that we have around us. So when you are talking about textures, it's important to play around with all the different kinds that you get. And one way to bring in a real sense of opulence is to add a shinier fabric, maybe like a silk, but it doesn't have to be your whole entire headboard or something. It could be as small as just a scatter cushion, but again, also to bring that sense of warmth in, use something that's got a beautiful texture to it. Again, just something that makes you feel comfortable and that feels comfortable and yummy on your skin. That's important in a bedroom. Demonstrating that style knows no limitations, Marilee designed and installed an opulent bedroom on a small scale. So the challenge of working in a space that is essentially five square meters is that you have to fit a certain amount of things into that, being a bedroom, obviously a bed, a bedside table, the necessities, but you also need to go about it quite cleverly. You don't need to overfill the room necessarily, but just bear in mind scale and proportion what the size of your bed would be. So tiles is not something that someone would normally think to use in a bedroom other than on the floor. So we really felt that we could use some of the fantastic products that are available to us now to almost create a look of wallpaper but using tiles doing that. So it was very important for us to find something that had a wonderful texture to give it that feeling of not being shiny, not being cold, but in actual fact being warm and layered. So important for me was to create a true feature wall that would be behind the bed. Um, so I didn't want to just have a flat surface being tiled. That's why we went with creating a niche that would also form a space for you to add more accessories um, into the bedroom, not necessarily only next to the bed. I went with a tile that had quite a natural look and feel about it. So it really built from there, trying to then bring in a bit of warmth through the headboard that we chose and the colors and the textures that we brought in. Generally, people believe that you need to have white grouting on the walls, but that's not always the case. You have to choose the grouting according to what is happening in the actual tile that you've got. So important to choose something that will blend, not necessarily stand out too much. CTM has a wonderful range. There was so much to choose from, but in the end I wanted something that had a fine texture to it, not too intrusive into the space. Um, so we found this beautiful tile that has almost a sense of a ribbon cladding, but, but with the fine lines behind it, it really created a beautiful backdrop of texture. Um, and then on the floor, we wanted to create a sense of warmth. So that's how we chose the actual wood look tile that went um, onto the floor and in a beautiful herringbone pattern that is now so uh, popular. Um, and then inside the niche, I really wanted to break the look and just give it that little bit of glam. So that's why we chose something that's got a bit of shine to it um, in the glass tile that we selected. 
So very important when you're tiling a space is it can feel cold quite quickly. So to try and steer away from too many shiny surfaces, using the exact same tile floors, walls everywhere, you really have so much choice now that you can put something different on the floor, have something different on the wall, using texture, and there's just so much to choose from now. Things like the wood look tiles really create a sense of warmth. So I selected quite a neutral colour palette just because in a bedroom generally one wants to have not too much going on, not too much colour, it's a sense of warmth that you are trying to create and obviously green at the moment, very good colour to be using at the moment and specifically in a bedroom. Green has a very calming effect in a space, it's not necessarily something that you would want to use reds or oranges in so we really opted for something warm and inviting in the greens that we put in. I think still very important, even though you're working in a small space, is scale and proportion. You don't have to use the biggest item or the smallest item, but you'd rather use one, like we did in the bedside table, and a mirror is definitely a must because it truly opens up a space. When it comes to creating the ultimate small space bedroom, keep in mind the following. A bedroom needs to be a space where you feel relaxed and comfortable. A feature wall behind the bed adds texture, Quality linen adds a sense of luxury to a bed. Scale and proportion are important considerations when choosing furniture for a space. A textured matte tile makes for a great focal wall behind a bed. To soften a tiled space, select grout that will blend with your tiles rather than stand out. Woodlock tiles in a herringbone pattern make for a warm and inviting floor option. A neutral colour palette works well in a bedroom as it allows you to add interest through accent colours. Using complementary tiles on the floor and wall creates texture and interest.